Hello, and welcome to my Hearthstone beta first impressions. So I just wanted to give a couple of my thoughts. I've So I've been playing this game for actually like, I've been playing it a lot recently. Um, and I wanted to give some of my thoughts on the game first. Hopefully I'll be able to roll out some actual gameplay footage and other stuff, matches, stuff like that. Um, so if you don't know anything about Hearthstone, which I, you know, it basically it's your normal TC, uh, CCG, I guess, collectible card game. Uh, there are nine heroes that you choose from, and they each have a pool of their own cards, and then the neutral cards, which every hero can choose from. Um, and so I made these two decks real quick. I just kind of wanted to talk about maybe some of the deck building kind of things that happen. Um, because that's really what, like, I think a big part of a lot of these card games are, is deck building. I mean, playing is fun, but I think a lot of the strategy comes into, like, building the deck. Um, so I have these two druid, druid decks that I made, um, that I wanted to talk about. So let's just look at the first one real quick. So the druid has kind of two ways of playing. Uh... First of all, I'd like to point out that you can do this. You can see your card values. I think that's really cool. I like it. I, I like the, like, visual. Anyway. Oh, and each each hero has a unique power that you can spend two mana on. That's So that's kind of what differentiates the heroes. They each have their own unique power that you can use just once per turn. Any turn. And uh, then these unique cards that are only applicable to them so he the druid i guess my point is each hero kind of has you can tell they're making i see like two separate ways of playing each hero now there's a bunch of ways to play the hero but it looks like when they're making the game that they focus on like okay we're going to make we're going to make this hero be able to play this way we're going to be able to make them to be played this way so this deck focuses on getting like big guys out, right? So you have these cards like this, which gives me mana and this, which helps me gain mana later on. And uh, this, which lets me like heal the big things. And then as you can see, I've got like a bunch of big things at the end uh, down here. Um, and this deck, I mean, like, there are cards that I'm missing that I would like to put in the deck, you know, but it's a card game, and I don't have infinite money. Um, <laughs> darn! But, uh, so yeah, I, I mean, I'm not just going to go over the deck or anything, but... So that that's, like, one way of playing, right? And I can see it. I can see, oh, they have these cards that are, like, trying to push you, like... You can get big guys out, like, earlier than normal, you know, like... And get a bunch of them out. Okay, so that's that deck. And then let's just... So then the other way I see them pl playing is have, like, as you can see, more little guys. Kind of have, like, a rush aspect. You understand what I'm saying? Um, so I have a bunch of, like, ones and twos and stuff. And then you have certain cards like this. So if you have a bunch of cards out, Death Rattle is whenever you... an enemy, uh, A minion, they're called minions. Whenever a minion dies... That happens. So summon a 2-2 two, two tree ant. So you can get a bunch of guys out, like four or five of these small guys, and then play this card, and all of a sudden, like they're really small, but when they die, I get a 2-2 two, two tree ant in its place. So it's like really frustrating for the opponent to deal with that, because even if they have a board wipe and they can just clear the board, they ha the only way it really works is if they have two. You have to have two board wipes in your hand and enough mana to play both of them. So there's that kind of stuff. And I mean, the, the Soul of the Forest and stuff, these are druid-only cards. So I can see they're like, some of these druid-only cards are getting big guys out. And some of the druid-only cards are like, help, like, okay, then there's this other card. Summon a bunch of tree ants with charge. And you can do kind of weird combos with that, like summon them. And then boost them real quick, do a lot of damage to whatever you need to do damage to, and then they die, but it's like, who cares? Or you can play that, and then play Soul of the Forest, which I've done, it doesn't work very well, but 
you know, they kind of come, you can kill them off because they're going to die anyway, but then they die and get respawned, sort of. So there's kind of weird combos that, I guess what I'm trying to say is, like, this game is a lot about kind of, like, cheeky combos that you can do, just, like, during your turn. Like, oh, I play this card and play this card, and it kind of makes this interesting play, or I play this card and I play this card, and it makes this other interesting play. That's how this game is set up. Okay, um, there's lots of different things that I've seen people do. Um, for example, let's just go to uh, this real quick. Okay, so there's this guy, which I, yeah. So there's this guy, you see him, Ancient Watcher. He's a 4-5, he costs 2, which is really good, um, but he can't attack, right? That's his special attack, he can't attack. However, there's a mechanism in the game called Silence where it removes the special text of a card. That's what it does. So whatever the little special text is right here, it removes it. So I've seen, I've kind of experimented with it, but I've seen people do it more successfully than I, where you play this card and then later on in the game you silence it and all of a sudden you have this pretty powerful card out there that you you know, didn't pay the full cost for. I mean, you kind of like did this kind of cheeky move uh, to get it out there. So, and, and so it can attack. It, it has no special effect, uh, text, so it's just like a regular 4-5 minion, and it can attack. When you're building a deck, you have to have kind of this synergy that's in the back of your mind, but a lot of the synergy is coming with like, okay, I'm going to pair these, this card with this card, and I can do something with it. I mean, for example, okay, Force of the Force of Nature goes well with Soul of the Forest. It kind of you can do this cheeky little combo. It also goes well with Savage Roar because you can play Force of Nature, you can then play Savage Roar, and all of a sudden you can do 12 damage, preferably you know to your opponent somehow. So that's another little thing that works. There's also Power of the Wild, so you have all these little small stuff. And then you can give everyone one def one health and one attack. Um, so a lot of this stuff kind of melds together and like, oh, I can do this with this card or this with this card or this other thing with this card. And, you know, you can't spread out. Now, um, I guess the last couple things I want to talk about, just about the game. Um, so there's two cards. You can only have two copies of a card in the deck. Which I think is very interesting because they can put like, I mean, obviously the game's, the game is kind of balanced, but they can put these like really powerful cards in, make like a really powerful card, and it doesn't really matter because like all the other cards are powerful, and you can only have two, so it's not like you can get like four of the cards like right at the beginning, and it's awesome, like. I think a lot of this stuff here is like really powerful if you use it like a certain way. But I think that's kind of cool. Like, you know, right, sometimes you might get into a match where your opponent just gets the perfect cards and you don't and he kills you by like turn four. That happens. You know, I mean, it's, it's a card game. There's luck and randomness and stuff. I think it also makes building a deck much, much harder. Because you're limited to putting in a lot of cards, and so you really have to force yourself to think what cards go together, and what cards don't, you know, and what cards this and that, and it's kind of interesting. Yeah, okay, the other thing I wanted to say about the game is, uh, I feel like they're... The game is really m more of a video game than a than a card game. Like, I could not imagine playing this card game in real life. I could not imagine taking the actual card, sitting down with someone, and playing it. I think you could. I'm trying to think there's... I mean, some of the cards would be really kind of tricky to do, because some of the cards are like, copy this card from your opponent. You know, but you could do that, I guess. You know, you just have to like kind of make a note of it or remember it or use sticky notes or something. Yeah, I mean, you could do it. I don't think there's any mechanic that is just totally something you couldn't do. I might be wrong. So then I guess some of the negatives I have um, that I 
can think of is, I mean, besides, I'm not going to talk about glitches or anything. It's in the beta. They're having problems, whatever. They seem to be doing a good job of fixing it. Um, so it's going to be free to play. I think the packs, the card packs are debatable in my mind. Um, so when you open a card back, you get five cards. And I, I maybe want more cards, even if they have to like lower the like chances of getting the better cards and just to like make it six cards. I, I think five cards is like, it's not a lot of cards. Um, I mean, there, so that's the thing. I, I, that's the one thing maybe is like just more, more cards in the packs. I mean, figure out, you know, how to make money and how you have to make money through how many cards and the levels and stuff. But I do feel like only five cards in a pack is kind of limiting, especially if they add cards in the game. Five is going to be like nothing. You know, you buy a pack of five cards and I don't know how many cards there are now. I have no idea. But I mean, let's say there's a thousand cards. One pack is going to be five cards. I don't even if the one's like really rare, you know, that you've got a better chance to get this really rare card, it, you might get a rare card and it's like, it doesn't go with any deck at all. So that, you know, that you have, that you have other cards too. So I think I would prefer just more cards over getting the rare cards. That's the other thing I wanted to talk about the rare cards. So there's these legendary cards, right? And instead of two copies, you're only allowed to put one copy in the deck right because they're so rare they're like so like powerful that you can't have two okay fine you know that makes sense um you know it, it makes it fun because then you can just make these ridiculous kind of like special text that they do but you know you can only put one 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 of them in your deck and even in most matches you're not like guaranteed to get the one card so it's kind of like interesting um, it kind of puts it up more to chance and randomness, but that's kind of, it's fun. Um, that's why it's, it's fun. You know, it's, it's less pushing towards competitiveness because of how random it is. So it's more fun. I think, I feel like the game is still minion driven. These guys are called minions. I've tried to make decks with not a lot of minions. Cause I feel like the druid could do it. Um, like there's like kind of cards he has to try to do it I couldn't do it like I you can do a deck but it wasn't I didn't like it it wasn't good um I think the only hero that can pull off like very little minions is probably the mage because she has all these freezing cards and stuff she can like so she can just keep freezing the your minions and like do damage to you um and plus her spells can attack anyone there's certain characters that like force you to attack that character only while the spells can attack anyone so you can kind of get away with it there the warrior has like weapons and stuff right and kind of like these things for like getting armor and he has weapons right oh right click so he has weapons and armor and stuff but i don't i don't think you could build a deck with like just like oh i just want these like two minions in the deck. I don't think you could do it. So I think it's still really minion driven, which is an issue. Here's my stats. I played with all the heroes. Yeah, when you level up your hero, you get cards. These like basic cards that you only can unlock by leveling up the hero. And it's at, at level 10. But thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe. As always, bye.